are you guys? Zachman18 here. Welcome back to the WTZM TV channel, the Teen Superstation. It is time for the next episode of Game & Watch 2014. Today we're playing The Last Door, Chapter 4. Hey, that rhymes. Um, we just finished the uh, third chapter, if you guys didn't see the last episode of Game & Watch. So uh, we're going to do Chapter 4 now, so let's jump into it. Once again, the link is in the description below. The first three chapters are for free. This one you have to donate right now in order to get that, uh, in order to play this episode. But uh, here we go. There is no turning back. Okay. I have made my mind. I'm ready. Go on, do it. Do it. Do it. All right. Uh, one second, my webcam's being weird. Okay. We're back. Uh, oh, I can't skip it now. All right, hold on a second. All right, here we go. Can you see all these stars twinkling in the black outer abyss? All the constellations traced by human eyes in long distant eras? Look now to the forest in the valley, to the old tower, from the last tree in the distance to the stars in the sky. And even the stones beneath our feet are just silhouettes that hide the truth from our poor senses. Ancient shadows that hang over the veil that hides the world, as if it were the curtain of a theater. The veil separates the truth from the lie. The Veil is a place, Devit, a place of mists. Anthony's great abilities brought you here, but his influence will soon fade away. The Mask of Lies will descend over your eyes once again. You must find the door, as I did. The door that gives passage, passage through the Veil. Open it and we will walk together beyond the mist. I suppose you are wondering why I called you so urgently. I cannot deny it, your letter was truly mysterious. I have been traveling, Doctor, to Scotland. Have you heard about the massacre of St. Gillies? Why, yes, the tragic event has been the continued object of speculation and groom rumor in every newspaper in England. For weeks now, pamphlets have claimed that all kinds of macabre, macabre things took place. But I don't understand how all, the, how all this is connected with my patient. He was there. I'm afraid he is one of the victims. Dear God. Are you telling me my patient has been murdered? Murdered? Thankfully, no. Please excuse me for alarming you. I did not mean to give this impression. Heron it was attacked but survived. What happened to him then? It seems the criminal was caught by Heron DeVitt in the midst of the act. Then he tried. Tried to do the same thing to DeVitt that he had done to the others. Fortunately, the nuns arrived in time to unearth him from the coffin. Heron DeVitt was hospitalized. The nurses report that he remained unconscious for an entire day. What was DeVitt doing there? Many years ago, the St. Gillis Hospital was a boarding school. It appears that both your patient and Mr. Beechworth spent a part of their youth together there. We could assume that Herod of it was investigating something. He believed he had found a clue related to his friend's death. What was the cause of those awful deaths? No one knows for sure. The victims were inflicted with terrible wounds. All of them had an expression of utmost terror on their faces. I suspect you did not find Mr. DeVitt in the hospital. Indeed, he was already gone by the time I arrived. I have not been able to determine his whereabouts since. I see. What conclusions do you draw from all of these circumstances? I have some theories, but I would prefer not to reveal them until events have unfolded. In all of them, there is a fundamental element whose role has not yet been revealed. And what leads you to this conclusion? It is something that the Holy Sisters found beside Herod de Witt within the coffin. An empty hypodermic needle with traces of an unknown substance. Chapter 4, Ancient Shadows. Alright. I'm sure this is the place. Alexander's house must be just ahead. Ooh. 
There's a large iron bar latching the door. It's quite odd that the door was latched from the outside. Oh, left it there? Okay. Oh, the door is latched from the outside. Okay. It's over here. Oh, okay. It's latched. I can't open it from this side. No one is answering. Perhaps I should go inside anyway. I'll just tell the household that I'm an old friend come to visit. Alright. Footsteps. There must be someone upstairs. Alright, let's, let's look down here first. Whoa. A well-crafted grandfather clock, but it seems to be out of order. One of the hands is missing. So I guess we'll have to find that. Let's see what's in here. A couple of old teacups sit on the table. One of them is full and still warm. An oil lamp. Oh, is this where we were? Yeah, okay. Okay, so now we can get through there. Okay, cool. An ancient stone well. A rope hangs inside, disappearing into the darkness below. The rope is broken. I'll keep this end. Alright. Alright, let's head back inside. Head upstairs. Ooh. Oh, hello. Alexander! Oh, this is him, okay. Alexander, it's me, David. I'm sorry if I startled you. Is everything alright? Why are you sitting in a wheelchair? Are you are you hurt maybe? Can you stand? He's staring blankly at some distant point as if he has not heard my question at all. You told me I should come here, and I came as soon as I could. Can you tell me what's happening here? He gives no answer, but persis persistently stares at something nearby. He appears, to be, he appears to be in some kind of hypnotic trance. When I was downstairs, I could have sworn I heard footsteps. Were there yours, or there is someone else in this house? For a moment, I felt a flash of hope that he was looking at me, but he is unresponsive. Alexander, please say something. I don't know what to do. I don't understand just what happened to him. Alright, so he's not gonna... Wait, wait. There's a note here. The veil is something we sense in our innermost being in incessantly. In vain do we waste our lives craving to tear through. Zilathal is the curtain behind which the great wings beat. Inside its ancient mist inhabit the shadows of those who left. Figurine of an angel facing the wall. A huge chest made of oak wood. There was a large iron hook inside. I'll take this hook. There was a fragment of a diary under the hook. August 5th, 1887. I can't work in the basement anymore. Those wretched sculptures, I feel them stalking me in the darkness. I feel it. I, I know it is not possible, but I can hear the crunches, the flapping wings, stone grinding on stone. Their frozen paroxysms, with what diabolical art were those gestures conceived? An eternal movement, a tension, an impossible struggle to get back the life they never had. I might place them outdoors in the greenhouse and let them mold the vow over them and wa wasps make nests of their hollow hearts. Huh. Alright, well, is there anything I can do with the rope and the hook? Oh! Okay, cool. Um, alright. A camera tripod. Sink here. A lamp is hanging from the ceiling. Its bowl casts an intense white light. What the heck? Oh. So I guess we'll need that for later. A an image of a couple wearing rat masks at a festival. A glass jar containing a yellow substance. Oh, cyanide. All right. So we'll probably 
we we'll probably need that. It's a big book of, of home chemistry recipes. A few pages have been bookmarked and some articles are underlined. Uh, okay. Pouring upon the play about one ounce of the vit vitroil. So we need vitroil and we already have cyanide, so we need the vitroil as well. Okay, so we need to try, try to find the vitroil. An instrument whose workings are beyond my knowledge. Is that a note? No, oh, close. All right. So let's go find this cyanide. Or not cyanide, but uh, vitriol. Ooh. And a large envelope of black felt covered in da dust and ashes. It is labeled with a warning do not open it under white light. The letter. Dear Alexander, I have excellent news. A contact from the university has given me access to a 12th century alchemical tome containing an amazing formulary. There's no doubt that sometimes. Okay. Okay. This seems an invoice. May this document serve as a record of the payment made corresponding to the following work. The cuckoo clock mechanism has been modified to give the strokes exclusively at quarter past six in the afternoon. In addition, a special device and a switch have been added to synchronize all clocks in the house. Okay, so we'll probably have to use that. Alright. So we've got all this stuff, so let's head back down here and see what we can do with this. I have a hook now, so I could probably reach in and grab what I dropped in here. There we go. Within the mud and dirt inside the bucket, there was a small bird of brass. Strangely enough, there doesn't mean to be water in the well. Okay. Ooh. Whoa. I feel, it looks like someone was buried here. So it was that one guy that we from like episode one or two, I think. What's in here? I don't... Okay. Oh, we can go in. Oh, a greenhouse. Okay. Let's see if we find anything in here. This pane looks as if it's had been broken from the inside. A statue of an angel with its wings spread, its head is missing. A jar of vitriol, there we go. There we go, that's what we need. Okay. So now we got both the things that we need. So I guess we're making a, a picture or something like that? So what do we have a light bulb for? I'm not sure. Let's see what's over here. Do, 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 do. Oh god. The corpse of a deer, its abdomen torn open, it looks recently dead. Uh What do I do with this thing? Light bulb. What? Now the bulb is grossly covered in What? That doesn't make any sense. Old ruins lead by the path. Okay. What? That doesn't make sense. Put blood in a light bulb? The fudge. Alright, well, let's go try to do some stuff with this. Okay. Well. Oh, wait, I think I know why. Yeah, this is gonna help us make the picture. That's right. I remember that. I remember now. I remember from that for the forensic shows that I used to watch. This liquid should be applied on the plate. Okay. Wait, what? 
I need something on which to apply the liquid. Well, for God's sakes, what do I have? Do you speak of? Ow! Oh, my back. Where's the plate? faded out. That doesn't help me. the envelope. Wait, what? Oh. Suitable place to work. What do you want me to do? Bird? So the clock has been turned. Oh, wait. Cuckoo. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Alright, my bad. I just closed out the game, but uh, I didn't lose any progress, so. I need to find a plate or something to... There's a note here. It's a diary. It's the last thing written. The last pages have been ripped off. God dang it. What am I supposed to do? Where am I supposed to open this fucking thing?
ingredients. I wasn't told that I needed a plate. Right on the plate. My, my, uh, I'm gonna, well, not refresh, but uh, my screen recorder's being weird. Be right back. Okay, there we go. But still, I don't know what to do here. I tried everything. No. What? I already did that! What? Oh, come on. You serious? Oil has caused a strong acidic reaction. Uh, okay, cyanide. I've applied the liquids in the correct order. All that remains is to rinse the plate. <sighs> An image is appearing on the plate. It's a photograph of Anthony and Alexander. Oh my god! Oh, oh that scared the crap out of me. webcam is being really weird. Stop it. Alright, whatever. Uh, Alright, so we have a photo now, so let's show it to Alexander, I guess. Now you'll talk to us. Alexander, do you recognize this photograph? Take a look. It is you and our old friend Anthony, and there is someone else blurred in the background. Who is the third figure? Does he mean something to you? Okay, my, uh, my, uh, Google Chrome just crashed for some weird reason, so, uh, but we're back. Um, so I just showed him the photo. It said the bird awaits. Piece of clockwork. Ooh, there we go. That'll definitely help us. Alright. So, let's go put that downstairs. Oops. There we go. I put the clock in its place. I only need to set the clock to the correct time. So, 6.15. Do we need to set it to? Boom. What, nothing happened. I'm supposed to set that. Wait. Why does that say 8.30 now? Oh, do I have to do math? <laughs> uh, okay, so wait, 8.30. Or no, 30, 15. B3. What time would it be? 3, uh, 3-something? Three like 3.10 or 3.05? Three three I'm not sure if something's supposed to happen. Cause that clock is off. Oh, there we go. The sound came from upstairs. So that's three hours and 15 minutes off, right? Ooh. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that makes sense now. Uh, all right. The bird has burst out at the stroke. Now its beak is open. Okay. Let's trim. There's a key. Oh, there was a key inside the bird. Yeah. All right. Well, what do we have that's locked? up here. 
think, uh, oh yeah, the, uh, this thing right here. Boom. All right, let's go. Piece of furniture has several drawers. Inside this one, there's a gardener's shovel. Ooh, now we can use that to dig up the grave. It almost shattered. Which one? Yeah. What? The skeletal fingers of the creature are clutching a rolled up canvas. It's a map of the stars. The remains of a humanoid body, but with a grotesque animal aspect. Maybe a small ape, it has a collar with some engraved words on it. Old Mike. Beside the corpse, there is a paper leaf. Dear Alexander, undoubtedly your methods are definitely stronger than mine. Okay. Okay. So we got a canvas. Okay, can I back out? There we go. Uh, now where do we go? Oh no. Oh god, that sounds like Alexander. Uh oh. This is not good. See what happened. Oh boy, he's gone. Alexander! Oh god! Jesus! God! Freaking. Jeez. Alright. <sighs> My god. Some diary pages on the wheelchair. The paper is ripped apart as if someone had stripped it off the book hastily. Uh, I'm writing this in the light of my desk lamp. I'll be able to remember it all when the birds finally sing and the sun blessing the spells, the dark shadows of the mind. Blah, blah, blah. I've already made a decision to leave this house. So he's wanted to leave this house already, so. Oh, now what? A statue. It's holding something. It's a lens mounted in a metal ring. All right. Okay, that scared me. <laughs> okay. Alright, so where else have we not gone to? I don't, I don't know what we need the canvas or crystal for. Let's go explore a little more down here. Even though it's freaking creepy down here. Is that him? What was that? That was creepy. That was in English. There are remains of a Roman mosaic behind this wall. I can't distinguish anything clearly. An ancient statue in poor conditions. Book written in language unknown to me. Huge cage full of leftovers and dirt. Animals have been captive here. Jars and test tubes. Oh, wow. There is a mountain of compacted snow. Oh, what? Oh, wait. Use the... Is the crystals for it? The crystal fits perfectly in the telescope. Okay, cool. Uh, what do I do? I have no idea. Oh, wait. Okay. No, I think this is not the, oh, I'm making a triangle? Okay. What? How about backwards? No? Uh, uh, uh. Oh. Hmm.
What? Oh, we don't know this yet. We have to figure this out. Terribly sorry about old Mike. We put him to rest in his favorite place after weeks of unsuccessful. Okay. Oh, there we go. I I didn't get that right before. Oh, because I used that one. Okay, so it just matters which ones you use. Correct. This is the summer triangle. Okay, so which ones? So that symbol, that symbol. Okay. There we go. There's a small cabinet with two slots for syringes. Only one of them remains. <laughs> The voice again, it comes from the bottom of the pit. Let's go! Oh, it's this room again. Alexander! Alexander! Uh, you want a syringe? Sure. This is what you asked me to search for, is it not, Alexander? Am I right? The last door. Xylothal. The last door. We can cross together. What should I do? I am waiting for you, here in the mist. It's nearby. I can hear it. What is nearby? What do you hear? I hear the beating of its wings. I, it knows we are afraid. I am ready. Sit down. Uh, syringe? There you go. Oh, crap. What is he dosing us with? Oh, God! What in the world? What? <laughs> Do you think that we will find any clue here about DeVitt's whereabouts? The police must have taken almost everything, but we have no other leads to pursue. Hopefully they have overlooked something. What about this room? There is a sealed letter between this table and the wall. It looks like Herr Beechworth never sent it. I think it is best that you read it. Dearest Alexander, please you must reflect on this. We do not yet know what we are dealing with. If you were to open the door, it may stay that way. An open way for whatever lives on the other side. Videt ne kisiat. Wow. That was still a pretty sh uh, another pretty short one. Um, but that was good. Wow, that was crazy. I got a big jump scare in there. I had two two jump scares. Two big jump scares. But this I mean I like I, I mean I'm liking the story of it too. I mean the story is good too. It's not just the scares, but the story is really, really interesting too. in season two so that is it for season one of the last door okay so though uh so i guess season one's over yeah season one's over now wow but yeah that was a really good episode i really enjoyed that i'm, I'm enjoying all these episodes so uh definitely once again guys so uh, like i said in the last uh, episode before this video please go support these guys they uh they deserve all the support they can get um because, uh, like, like I said before, I'm, I really am enjoying this game, and I can't wait for Season 2 to come out. Uh, I think they release them around, like, every three or four months, or something like that. So, uh, we'll probably have see well, and this one just came out, I think, like, a couple weeks ago, so. Uh, we'll probably have to wait till like, summer to, to, for Season 2, but. Uh, I'm looking forward to it, and I hope you guys are too, and I hope you guys enjoy the series. If you guys enjoyed this, uh, my Last Door Game & Watch series, Give this video a big thumbs up, it helps out a lot. Also, like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, Meverse, add me on Google Plus and your 3DS, and also sign my petition to bring back Spin for a Million. And that's gonna do it for The Last Door Season 1, aka The Last Door Chapter 4. Uh, thank you all for watching. Ancient Shadows, 
the name of the chat before. Yeah. And uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Zachman18, and as always, I will see you guys in the next video coming soon. Peace out.